Hi everyone, I'm going to explain about the air filth in the environmental. What you need to make sure in the air quality control is to measure the AQHI, which is Air Quality Health Index. Uh, it is classified as low, moderate, high, and very high, and it has domains. So if we calculate AQHI and it's been in the domain of 1 to 3, we call it air with the low quality. As you can see, the formula depends on the ozone concentration, nitrogen dioxide, and particulate matters. Particulate matters, it is PM 2.5. It means the particulate with the diameter less than 2.5 micrometer. In order to measure the particulate matter, we're using a high volume sampler, as it is here. Uh, we place a filter up here, plug it into the Power, it's a mechanical device, so it sucked the air for 24 hours. We run the test for three times, each time 24 hours, and we measure the, we're using the gravimetric method to measure the particulate matter 2.5 concentration. In order to measure the ozone and nitrogen dioxide, we're using a device, which is the schematic of it, uh, how it works. It is plotted here, so it takes a sample, then it it divided the sample into two sections. We have three valves, as indicated here. With switching the valves, you can let the air go through the scrubbers or bypass them. We have NO scrubber, nitrogen dioxide scrubber, and we also have an ozone generator. So by changing the position of the valves, we can let the air to come at this three-way. After that, we have a humidity control. Then we have reaction chamber. Why we have reaction chamber? If we want to turn all the nitrogen monoxide into nitrogen dioxide to have the nitrogen dioxide concentration, we need a reaction between ozone and nitrogen monoxide. So the reaction chamber gonna do this for us. And then we have a photodiode to measure the concentration of each compound separately or all together. Then we have an output signal to measure each of them in our sample. After that, we have all the concentration, and with this formula, we can calculate the AQHI. This device is the one that I show you before the schematic. It can measure the nitrogen monoxide and nitrogen dioxide concentration, and also the ozone. Uh, we need to calibrate each device before using it. So these are the calibrators. We have also one for the nitrogen dioxide. We use a zero to, to calibrate the zero, and then we inject a specific concentration to calibrate the device. This one is the ozone monitor to control and watch the flow rate and that ozone generated into the device. Here we have the sampler, so the sample come into the device from here, and then I explain the detail of how it works. These are the scrubbers that I showed in the sch schematic. So they basically they remove the compound that it named it. So Nitrogen dioxide scrubber, remove the nitrogen dioxide.